Hey indie game fans, on top of being a place to announce games, E3 is also a platform to share updates and to showcase upcoming titles. So here are the top 5 upcoming indie games from E3 2018 that are playable soon. Number 5, Children of Morta. What makes a family? Is not where they live or what they do. A roguelike dungeon crawler which poses the question, what makes a family? The Bergson family have been the sworn protectors of Mount Morta for generations, but recently, corruption has begun to seep into the mountain, and as a family, you must fight together to discover the truth and to protect your home. I love the familial concept since each playable character is unique, and the elders even act as shopkeepers, passing down their knowledge and improving the younger family members. No fixed release date, but we should expect this sometime this year. Number 4. Death's Gambit A 2D action platformer with stunning pixel art, Death's Gambit has the flashy look, the satisfying combat, and a non-linear world which is left to the player to explore. Interestingly, this actually has 7 character classes to choose from, which is unexpected, with a plan released in August 2018. This, combined with the previously covered Overcooked 2, results in August looking like a great month for indie games. Number 3, Ooblets. I have covered Ooblets many times before and love the bright and beautiful art, combined with gameplay systems inspired from Animal Crossing, Stardew Valley, and Pokemon. Since these are some of my favourite franchises, Ooblets seems to be everything that I want, so I'm eagerly looking forward to its release later this year. The E3 trailer actually showcases a major change in that battles are no longer Pokemon style dog fights, but rather feature the Ooblets in the dance off, which certainly adds to its charm. Number 2, Tunic. Zelda Like a Fox was given a huge spotlight during the Microsoft press conference and, similar to its inspiration, features the familiar action adventure gameplay. The world is beautiful, the protagonist cute, and the exploration looks intriguing due to the myriad of symbols and presumably secrets to uncover. And number 1, War Groove. Chucklefish is one of my favourite indie game developer and publisher, having a hand in games like Starbound and Stardew Valley, with a host of other titles all featuring great pixel art. Wargroove is of course inspired by games like Advanced Wars and Fire Emblem, but features 4 unique factions, a mishmash of units such as dragons, harpies, dogs, knights, turtles and warships with extra powerful commander units, land to air combat, weather effects, a map creator, and of course, a fantastic look. For fans clamouring for the return of Advanced Wars, Wargroove is certainly one to keep an eye on, with a planned release sometime this year. So this is my list of the top 5 upcoming indie games from E3 2018 that are playable soon. Please subscribe to the channel, follow me on Twitter, follow my Steam creator, and check out the subreddit to keep up with the best indie games, and I will see you in the next video.